Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a beautiful card that I've created using some Alta New airbrushed flower stamps. These are a 6x8 clear stamp set and they have all the different layering pieces that you need to create some gorgeous flowers. Also on the back side there's a guide and it tells you which stamp to use first and some color choices that you might want to use. So I am working on a piece of watercolor cardstock here and I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink since I will be doing a little bit of watercolor and I am just doing the outlines of the stamps and I want to do these really bold and I'll stamp these about three times since there's quite a bit of texture in my paper. Next I've aligned the biggest parts of the layering pieces and these are the backgrounds and I'm using my lightest color and for these I'm using tumbled glass and I'm just tapping the color right onto the stamps. To get the watercolor look that I'm wanting I'm just going to spray these with my mini mister and plain water. And then I'll shut the door of my misty and just gently push on the top just to make some contact and when I pick this up I have a little bit of my light blue color. And for the leaves, I'll be using some peeled paint and ice spruce distress inks. And I'm just tapping a little bit of the peeled paint on. Once again, I'll add some water and then press that onto the paper. Before moving on to the next stamp, I decided to add a little bit darker color into the centers of these flowers. And for that, I'm using a little bit of evergreen bow. And once I've made contact with the paper, I'll lift this up and now you can see the pooling of the ink. I've allowed my paper to dry a little bit and I've positioned the second layer of stamps onto the door. And for this one I'm also using Evergreen Bow once again for a second layer of ink. It'll be a little bit darker than the first that I put on. There's a little greenery piece that goes towards the bottom of the one flower so I've put some peeled paint on that. I'll spritz this with water and again I'll make contact with the paper to get my watercolor look. And lastly, I'll use the third layer to get some darker color using peacock feathers on the flowers. Once I had all my pieces stamped, I decided to add some speckles. So I'm just using some of the distress inks that are in the color of my flowers and I've mixed it with a little bit of water. And I'll just be flicking the color on randomly before I die cut. I've decided to add a little bit of shimmer, so I'm using some Perfect Pearls. You could also mix your Perfect Pearls with some white gouache to get some white spots. And again, I'm mixing this up with some water and I'll just flick this on over the entire sheet. For my background, I'll be using a sheet of printed paper. This is just a gray sheet from Honeybee. I'll have the link below. And for this, I'm using the Alta New narrow brick stencil. And this is a really fine stencil. You can kind of pull it apart. So to hold this down, I'll be using some pixie spray to keep it in place while I do my stenciling. To use a pixie spray, you want to just do some bursts of spray and make sure that you cover your entire stencil. And I'm just working on a paper towel. This is a really lightweight adhesive, so it'll peel off my paper when I'm done doing my stenciling. For my stenciling, I'm using a couple of Simon Says Stamp gray inks, and these are Fog and Smoke, and I'm just using a blending brush. I'll put my darker color towards the outside and then my Fog ink towards the inside. So I'm just going along and stenciling this in, and I'm going random. I'm not going to do the entire stencil. I want it to kind of look like stucco and, and have a distressed look. So once I'm done, I can just peel off my stencil off the sheet of the paper. And here's how this background looks. I've used some adhesive and now I'm just applying this to a A2 note card and I've trimmed my paper down to where I'll have a small white border around the outside. And to go with the extra flicking of color I have on my flowers, I'm also flicking on some white gouache. You could also use white pigment paint and I'll also be using some Perfect Pearls. And off camera, I've used the coordinating dies to die cut all the flowers and the leaves. And I'm also using a Simon Says Stamp sentiment strip for my message. I have added a little bit of foam tape to the back of my flowers and my sentiment strip to get them a little bit of lift and dimension. And now I can just place these where I want them on my card. And I'll be tucking in some silver thread that I've created little loops and I'm just gluing these in between the flowers and around the outside just to give it a little more shine. 
And here's a look at my finished card with all the layers and the speckles and that bit of shine from the Perfect Pearls. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below. And you can visit our blog for additional inspiration. And as always, thanks so much for watching.